What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, here to share my insights of the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors. Salute to y'all for pulling up on the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up like button for the YouTube algorithm, and do not forget to subscribe, y'all. We got a mega Shiba Inu update, something we're gonna talk about, you know, uh, the past of Shiba and how it can help us determine what could happen in the future. Now, remember, none of this is financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and never risk more than you're willing to lose. Check the links in the description section of this video. I got some free resources down there for your stocks, crypto, and whatnot. Also, if you're interested in getting any of my three courses, I got my stock options trading course available that will teach you how to day trade and also trade stock options. I got my technical analysis course available will teach you how to understand the data on the chart and how to use the indicators. And then I got my crypto 101 course available, giving you a well-rounded understanding of cryptocurrency. Now reach out to me via email, decemberdemarco at gmail.com if you're interested in grabbing those. Also, follow me on Twitter at December DeMarco and I am on Instagram. I'm looking for those that follow me right after this video at December DeMarco, Twitter and Instagram, the same way the channel is spelled. Now, let's get into this. So, here's where we are now. Here, here's where we are today. We're looking at the overall sheep chart that uh, Coin Market Cap has listed. So, today is October 6th. So, let's go back and rewind one year ago today so actually go one one day before a year so if we take a look the price if we go one day before one year where we are right now so basically 365 days if we go back 365 days and look at the day before that October 5th this is when it all started this is where look at look at how close the price is to where it was at that time. It only took 23 days approximately for Sheep to reach all time highs after hitting this point right here last year where we are right now. So this is very important. I want to say, uh, you know, a lot of Shiba Inu, almost 70 percent of Shiba Inu investors are down right now. We're going to talk about that in another video, but I want to show you all this. Take a look. October 5th, we went from that 12 level exactly where right where a little bit more than where we are uh above where we are right now like let's zoom in closer just so you can really see how close this is you see this green dotted line across the bottom of the screen here this the green dotted line that goes all the way across here that line is where we are the bottom of this candle here is october 5th 2021 so Here's October 6, 2021. So one year ago today, we seen a pump from the 16 level up to the 30 level all in one day. So I'm really paying attention closely right now to this time period, the next, you know, uh, 20 days or so to see, you know, what type of price action we get. But I definitely think you should be prepared. This is the closest that we are to, uh, you know, basically being able to predict if we're gonna have that uh, run up that we seen last year reaching all time highs, being able to position ourselves in a solid, you know, buying opportunity before that actually takes place, this would be it. So uh, let's take a look here. October 6th, it took from that point, so one year ago today, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it, it broke out to that level and then for the next 16 days kind of consolidated but it, it kind of respected the support level dipped under briefly right here for these three days but quickly returned back to the support level around the 27 level remember i've been telling y'all that i predict us to break out to that 2600 level for a while so remember i told y'all that then after that 13th day we start to see the price take off again 14 15 16 17 18 on that 19th day we seen that price reach all time highs at that 88 level. So right now we're we're literally in a very unique uh you know point in time for sheep. So I would really be you know uh getting positioned just in case things start to take off and we see a repeat in history. I'm uh very excited about this. Now we would need to see some uh enormous levels of volume coming in. So that's what we want to pay attention to as well. Let's go back to where we are today. So we don't see that volume taking place like we want, but we if we look here Okay, that was all the way back August 14th. We seen some nice volume come in, but that pretty much became invalid from the time period that we have traded in between then. So the volume is still really low right now. So let's take a look. Down 15.98% in the last 24 hours. So uh, let's take a look 
as some of our indicators and see what that tells us. We got our Bollinger Bands, RSI, Relative, Relative Strength Index, and we'll use, of course, our Moving Average Convergence Divergence, MACD. So we're right in that middle level. MACD is over the signal line. Let's go on the monthly chart. Okay, on the monthly chart, RSI is at a 50 right in the middle, so they're not giving us too much on this monthly chart. Let's see. Let's look at the weekly. Okay, they're giving us a little bit more on the week chart. We can see the price is underneath that lower Bollinger Band, looking at that 823 level as a uh, critical support level uh, at the lower Bollinger Band. Usually we see the price used as a... Uh, well, I mean, excuse me, the middle Bollinger Band used as a resistance level for price. So we can see that here. The price is having a hard time breaking above this. But we do have a downtrend here with some doji candles forming at the end of it, which lets us know that the price is likely to reverse. So, uh, you know, we just kind of being alert right now, you know, uh, staying on top of everything just in case. We did start to see from June up until August, the middle of August, a nice little uh mini breakup we we basically corrected from that point did some consolidation around where we are now and possibly shabiram could be that catalyst that we need to uh you know really shake things up so we need to get some more word on shabiram we just got the card game to release didn't have too much effect on the price but you know nonetheless the community is excited about the game the blockchain version is coming soon the blockchain version will help the actual ecosystem a little more well the the app version helps the ecosystem in a way of uh supporting projects through the revenue earned so 50 percent of revenue basically 45 45 uh, percent will go towards building and supporting projects on top of shibirium or that are using shibirium five percent will go towards burning sheep and the rank, remaining 50 percent the team will do what they see fit with that so uh that's all we pretty much got i just want y'all to you know know where we are in history right now this is a very pivotal moment and Shiba Inu. So uh let me know what y'all think. Are y'all prepared? You know, uh, if you haven't yet, you know, you may want to grab a little sheep. This is not financial advice. Never risk more than you're willing to lose, you know, and uh dollar cost average as well. But yeah, I'm 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 I got my fingers crossed for this time that we're in right now. I'm gonna continue to accumulate if we dip under that 10 level again. Or if we pull back, not, not under the 10 level, but under this 11 level and we touch those 10s again, I'll be accumulating even more. Because if we're going to do it, the time is now. Not saying it can't happen later than this, but I'm really speculating that we should start to see some movements soon. I would even be uh, okay if we were able to you know, get around to that 5,000 level. 50, that 54 level, if we were able to you know, make that happen, that would be cool as well. But that's all we got for this video. Appreciate y'all for pulling up and we are out.